The question we can raise is this. Did Herod act on his own? And the answer is obviously no. But he was prompted by Herodias. But the problem is, he's equal, equally culpable to the crime because he was party to it. He had the authority and the power to refuse what the girl had asked for. But perhaps he was more concerned about his own name and fame and didn't want to be embarrassed in the presence of guests because he had promised his daughter to give her whatever she had asked for. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm not too sure whether Herod slept that night or not and how restless he was because he had some respect for John the Baptist because maybe he was afraid of the crowds because they considered him to be a prophet. But yet, I would think each of us could perhaps live with such guilt feelings, going against what our conscience tells us to do, perhaps being prompted by others and then putting the blame on someone else and saying, but that person told me to do it. But I'm equal, equally culpable to the crime that I've committed. And therefore today we need to think twice before we act. I believe in every situation we just need to ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? And maybe that will prompt us to make better and perhaps wiser decisions. Let's not be led astray, being influenced by others, but listen to our own conscience. Listen to what the voice of God is prompting us to do. And may each of us truly live good Christian lives. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.